I opened the boot and I saw this quilted leather top and I thought, oh, the boot floor's a bit high. I opened the pull-down tailgate and it was a quilted leather custom-made oh. gun cabinet. Oh. What? Taylor, the next topic is for you. Oh, oh the pressures are rising. There we go. What's it like working with such a stud? Oh, stop, stop it, Alex. Alex. You don't, don't need to talk to me like that. You know, I'm, I know I'm a bit of a stud. But... A bear? You've put on so much. I've I would class you. Yeah. Weight, I yeah. would yeah. class you more as a bear. Am I an otter? No. no. Old. <laughs> yeah, but otters are old. No. They're the old. Old. Oh, Just okay. old. Just old. All right, that's nice. But mm. Taylor, the first topic for you is the best car deal you've ever had. Oh, I don't know if we want to hear this. That's yeah. quite nice, that is. I've had quite a few good ones, actually. You um, don't say. Yeah, especially in the last year or so. <laughs> well, in the last few weeks as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we can't go so it's a bit too early for that. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> the best car deal I've ever had probably is the Range Rover Classic that I bought. It was a bit of a random one, very, very unexpected. I was at the unit quite late one night with a friend of mine and I was quite tired and I hadn't had dinner. Mm -hmm. So I had to leave a car there. So he offered to give me a lift home. Who's he? Uh, my mate, Joe. Oh, hello, mate, Joe. Yeah. So he offered to give me a lift home. Um, neither of us had had dinner. So I said, look, if we get, if you drop and take us to McDonald's on the way back, I'll pay for it because you've given me a lift, blah, blah. So anyway, I fell asleep in the car. As you do. As I do, because I was very You tired. do it a lot. Oh, you sleep everywhere. I literally, if I need to sleep, I sleep immediately. No matter where I am, yeah. I've fallen asleep in two nightclubs. Literally anywhere I will fall asleep. And speaking of sleep, at my um, wedding... Yes. You got so pissed <laughs> that you didn't make it to your bedroom. You fell asleep up the stairs. Yes. You were literally asleep up your yeah, stairs. and I was snoring. Literally. You were. I didn't stairs. know this. Yeah. I thought yeah. you attacked him when he was in bed. No, no. No. So I, I, he woke me up on the stairs. I then got into bed and then about 45 minutes later, I got woken up by him and Gareth <laughs> trying to wrestle me while I was asleep. I had Gareth, Gareth had me in a headlock <laughs> and Alex was he's just punching me or doing whatever. <laughs> we were and so I, pissed. And I, I kicked Alex in the leg. I gave him like a proper camel kick, bent his thumb back, which still hurts today. My thumb, it? I was thinking about that today. My thumb is still not right. Good. You deserve it. Yeah. And do you know what? Before that, so about 20 minutes before oh, that as well, me and my girlfriend were sleeping in the oh, roof tent. Oh, me and my girlfriend. Oh, I've got a <laughs> girlfriend. We, we were also pissed, but we managed to make it back to my roof tent, which was on top of my Defender. And then I was, you know, I was sleeping nice and peacefully. Next thing you know, I feel like I'm being crushed because what <laughs> Gareth and Alex have done, they've crawled on top of the roof and then they started to fold down <laughs> the roof tent while I'm in it. And then I'm holding the whole weight of them, just like lifting it up to try and stop them crushing it. Then for, uh, basically Alex tries to crawl around the side <laughs> And all I hear is this zipping. So then I quickly unzip it and I start gut punching. Oh God, I gut punched him as well. Yeah, because yeah. he's, he's holding on so he can't even defend himself. Then I'm getting shouted at by my own girlfriend <laughs> for attacking him, even though he's just squashed us because she was so fast asleep that she didn't even feel that them <laughs> crushing her. And then I think I eventually managed to get Alex to agree to get off and then jump off. We had off. a truce. Yeah. yeah. And then they went then attacked you <laughs> yes we did long story short it was a very funny wedding and we all got very pissed <laughs> yeah yeah also if if you're listening to this and you you're thinking what what's that in the background i can hear it like beep 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 it's not your imagination it's not your fire alarm um it's something going on in the unit it, it's our fire alarm <laughs> oh yeah chris <laughs> tried to unlock something with some keys and shorted all the circuit board yes. out. yes yes and there were sparks and it's been beeping ever since but anyway back to my story yeah <clears throat> So I woke up in the drive-thru to McDonald's. Yes. And at that particular time, my mum quite fancied a Range Rover. A so Range Rover I, Classic? No, no. A normal, like an okay. L322. Yeah. So I had been looking at Range Rovers on Facebook Marketplace. So anyway, I just, you know, I woke up, put my seat up and uh, I just opened my phone and I was looking for it and I, I opened Facebook and I, you know, I just clicked on Facebook Marketplace as you do. You have a little look every now and then. Yeah. And right in at the top, top left, I remember it was in the suggested was a picture of a Range Rover Classic and it was thousand pounds on the thing. For a Range Rover a Classic, Range a thousand. Rover Classic, yeah. I clicked on it. And it was in my local town. The description was very short and brief. It said, uh, starts and drives, cuts out because alternator belt broken mm. would make a great investment for someone. And that was it. And there was one picture. And what time was this? This was about 
I'm going to say between 12 and 1 o'clock in the morning. In the morning. Yes, so quite late. Yes. Uh, So I sent, you know, the usual, is this still available? Moved forward a space in the (laughs) drive-thru and got a reply. (laughs) And it said yes. And I said, you know, what's it like, basically? He said, yeah, good, needs an alternator belt, blah, blah. And I said, where are you based? He sent me the postcode and he was six minutes away from the mcdonald's that we were in six minutes six, just like your six, jcw just engine like was six that. minutes away in yeah, the yeah 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 coincidence, coincidence. I, think, <laughs> I think not said, um, so anyway i i said to him can i come and have a look at it and he said yes but i've got two viewings booked tomorrow i said well can i come and have a look at it now and as in said, as in like you were in the mcdonald's and you're going to drive there yes at like 1 a.m yes okay and he said what now question mark and i said yes and he sent me his address <laughs> and he so, said, how long will you be? And I said, six minutes. <laughs> so just for people who don't know, how much should one of those Range Rover Classics usually go Range for? Range Rover Classics go from anywhere between five grand for a roughish one and like 20 to 25 for a nice Jeez. one. So a grand is dirt cheap. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, cheap. you must be thinking, surely this is a bit of a scam this or is the what decimal f- place is in the wrong point. Or exactly. No, what, what's going on? I thought exactly that. I thought it was up for 10 grand, but it was a typo. But I wanted to have a look at it anyway. I thought, Do you know what? It's six minutes. So I go and have a look at it. Yeah. Take the risk. Why not? And even if it's 10 grand, you'll probably get it for a grand. Exactly. Because it's you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll just butter him up a bit. It'll be fine. But yeah. anyway, so I was at this point, I was like, get me out of this drive through now. I said, I don't want anything to eat. Just get me out of this drive through <laughs> But we were stuck in the drive through at this point. So we flew through the drive through got my chicken selects, as you do, of course. And I was just stuffing them. <laughs> I was just so excited. I just had the whole lot in about a minute. But anyway, drove straight around to this guy's house. And it was literally up the road from where I live. Wow. It was like two roads away. It was Bloody it was hell. so close to where I live. And we pulled up and I was like, I was thinking, no, this car doesn't exist or this is going to be wrong or, so, you know, it's a scam, something like that. Because there's a lot of scams on Facebook. There are, place. yeah. And I saw this Range Rover Classic. I was like, shit, it exists. And we pulled up behind it and the car we were in had LED headlights. Yeah. And they shone at the underside of this Range Rover Classic and it looked brand new. Wow. And I immediately thought, yeah, 10 grand yeah. all day long. Like, yeah. There's yeah. no way this car is a grand. The guy came out and, uh, you know, he was probably... In his, his 90? N- <laughs> no, he actually wasn't. <laughs> okay. He was probably in his 30s, something like that. So very young. Okay. Yeah, yeah, didn't really have any knowledge about cars or much. What he did say is that he paid eight and a half grand for it in October. And it was about June or July when I bought it. Okay. So he hadn't had it for very long and he paid eight and a half grand for it. So what, why, why does he think it's lost seven grand? I hadn't worked this out at this point. But anyway, so I was looking around the car. I had a look underneath it and I was like, I looked under it and I was like, this car has been restored. Bloody it looked hell. like the chassis had been powder coated. It had new brake lines on it. It had new tires, new calipers all around. Like it was oh my God. beautiful. Really, really nice. I had a look under the bonnet and the air con belt was missing. Oh, but the ooh. alternator belt was still there. And I was like, okay. Uh, but the engine is a 3.9 V8, mm. fuel injected, auto, which is the yep. right one to have, Vogue. So oh. it was it was lovely. What colour was it? It was like a, it was the same colour as the Essex Boys one. It was blue. Okay. It was a really, really nice car. So anyway, I opened the door, looked at the interior, grey leather, brand new headlining, all the seats were mint. It was just beautiful. It had like wood trim on the dash. It was gorgeous this this range rover so i said to him do you mind if i start it up he said yeah yeah that's that's fine but bearing in mind it's like after one o'clock yes yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah. okay i said do you mind if i and at this point i thought i just want to see if it starts if it engages drive engages reverse and that's it i'm done i don't even want to drive you'll it. have it yeah, yeah i just thought i just want to just see so i started it up it started in round fine put it in drive yeah put it in reverse yep yeah, lovely lovely perfect i had a look around it he showed me the paperwork it had, had a full engine rebuild piston rings oh my rod God. bearings all the gaskets head gaskets the lot it had, had an engine out full rebuild bloody hell had a full stainless steel exhaust on it oh, and I, opened, I bet that sounded nice it sounded so good and i opened the bonnet uh, the boot this was the best bit i opened the boot like because they've got a split tailgate yeah on those. yeah it's like any range rover i opened the boot and i saw this quilted leather top and i thought oh the boot floor's a bit high Opened the pull down tailgate and it was a quilted leather custom made oh. gun cabinet. What? Gun cabinet. What did it smell like? It smelled like leather. Oh. Those gun cabinets are usually like a few grand on uh, their own. Yeah. Like, 
a lot of money. It was. That's it wasn't mental. like a, one of those. Uh, what do they? Holland and Holland, whatever it is. It wasn't I, one I of those. Know, but it was a, a few Holland, yeah, Holland and Barretts. That yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just I pull, full of seeds. I pulled it open. I'd not, <laughs> that was it. Yeah, seeds and drugs. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I pulled it open and there was no guns in it, but it had all the cutouts in the oh. foam for the guns and it was lit. You open it and the, the lights come Sorry, on. So it was lit up or was like, it was lit. Oh, it, it, it was both. lit. It was lit. And okay. it was lit. Up. <laughs> lit. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I, and that, that I was like, I don't care what this price this car is. I want it. <laughs> so, so I was like, at this point in my head, I was thinking, there's no way this car's below 10 grand. No, like this yeah, is a 10 no. grand car all day long. Like he doesn't want a penny less than 10 At that this. point where you thinking you had a maximum budget mm, yeah like maybe five or six you would have given him five or six yeah okay. something like that I hope let's hope, not, he I hope he's not let's listening hope he to this listen or watch, yeah. but anyway i said to at this point i'm thinking <coughs> I, I, i'm thinking there's a slight chance he wants a gram but 99 percent of me says that he's he wants 10 grand for this so i said to him like how much are you looking to get for it he said well you know as close to the asking price as possible i was like Fuck, i still don't oh, know he's playing games and i said you know are you open to offers on it and he was like yeah you know, I'm open to offers and I'm still, I'm like, oh, you still don't, don't, know, don't know. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, but d just don't go offering me 500 quid because I won't, I won't take it. And I was like, ping, he wants a gram. Oh <laughs> my God. And obviously me being me, I went, would you take 800 quid? <laughs> <laughs> and he went, oh, I'll do 850. And I went, all right. <laughs> and I shook his hand and I sent him the money there and then. I got in the car. I put all the paperwork in the car. I got in the car. I drove away really quickly. Yeah. I got to mine. I rung Joe and I said, we got to get out of here now. <laughs> and he went, well, I went, I've just nicked this. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I got it back, took it back to the unit. And well, I, yeah. Were you worried at all that it might be stolen? Or? No, no. no. I, I did all the HBI checks oh, okay, and stuff right, on right. it and it all came up clear and, you know, done all the, all the usual checks that you do, all the MOT checks. Yeah, so it was all yeah. very, very clean. I couldn't sleep that night. I was so excited. Really? I had a Range Rover Classics outside my bedroom For window. £850. Pounds. Yes. Yeah. I was so excited. I was looking up videos of Range Rover. Really? Oh, yeah. I was so excited. So anyway, the next day, got it up to the unit and um, I washed it and it was like, it was, oh, it's beautiful. And yeah. I, you know, typical me, I was like, yeah. I'm keeping this. Yeah. Like, I'm not selling this. Did it look as good in the morning as you expected it to? Yes. Be? Oh, it did. It oh, actually did. God. And it looked even better once I put a bit of tyre shine on oh, it. Really? Oh, really? Because you know when you buy a car, you've got like your rose-tinted glasses yeah. on and the next day you're like, oh shit, I didn't see that. It's yeah. Like, oh shit. Oh, it's a cut and shirt. Oh shit. Yeah. I no, it I've done wasn't that with it. all mine. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, no, that. yours are all knackered. Yeah. No, he, he does like a bucket of shit. Have you seen the boot on his Z4 as well? quite a bad yeah, way. I don't yeah. know why you'd buy a car oh, like no, that. That's yeah, bad, I, I so. crashed it into something. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. did. Yeah. Oh, something dear. quite high. Mm. And anyway, so mm. um, I cleaned it all up. I took it to a Cars and Coffee event and I was like, I'm not selling this. I love mm. it. It was fantastic. I love driving it. The boot came open on occasion <laughs> while I was driving it along. But other than that, it was fantastic. And then Joe Ansel from Ansel Alloys came yeah. up to the unit and he was he was all over it. He was, was like, oh, I've wanted one of these for years. Like, it's fantastic. It's the right colour. It's the right interior. And he just kept bugging me about it. And I had it for a couple of days and he just kept coming over every day, come over it. How much do you want for that range? How much? Really? And I was like, oh, I don't know if I'd sell it. So he said a grand. Yeah. In the end... <laughs> So he offered me six grand for it. Did he? And I was like, hmm. Oh, it's it's God, worth more, yeah. mate. I was like, hmm. Five grand instant profit. Oh, oh no. And I, can't yeah, have that. No. And I said, no. And then he came back the next day and he offered me seven grand for it. And I went, all right then. <laughs> and I sold it to him. For seven grand. For seven grand. But what was that car actually worth, do you reckon, if you weren't selling it to a mate? Um... A grand. I don't know. <laughs> I could have probably have got like eight and a half for it at the time, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So was it a seven grand deal or did Joe also chuck in some wheel refurb? He done ten wheel <gasps> What no. no. On yeah. top of the <sighs> yeah. on top of the seven. Ten free wheel refurbishments. Oh my did you have to barter with the wheel refurbishment? I gave it a bit of a barter, of course. So did I he did. say, I'll give you a couple, and you said 10? Yeah, I want 10. Oh, my, oh God. my God. So How much is a wheel refurb worth? About, about two, two, well, he does me trade price, which is about 260 quid. Okay, so he's effectively given you nine grand for that car. Yeah, that's why I accepted it. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought to myself, I thought, well, 
All I've done is wash it. I suppose it's a decent profit for a, a day or so. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Yeah. 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 You've done yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that, is, that is quite a good deal. And I think that's probably why we're discussing this because that has got to be your best deal ever. It was a good one. I'll I don't think... Do you think you'll ever top that? Possibly, yeah. Have you come close recently? I have come close. With what? To certain deals. I can't discuss that kind of information because okay. my customers may be listening, Alex. Well, no, no, but that implies that you've actually got a following, which isn't true. <laughs> you can sling your own <laughs> And also some of them you can't talk about because... Uh, they're very legal. They're very illegal. What do you mean is legal? Uh, what? what? Shall we talk about the, the thing that you had in the corner of your unit? No? Oh, yeah. No, we can't do that. No. What well, thing? The, oh, the, BM, the BMW M3. Don't bring that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe that's one for uh, for another time. Another but definitely not this time. Yeah. When Taylor's moved country. Ten years. <laughs> yeah. We've got yeah. a 10 year limit. Anyway, that was good fun. And uh, yeah, if you can beat that deal, let us know in the comments below. But yeah, let's move on.